Nine um, is it more I than that? I have Did I read the back I have wrong? Twelve, possibly. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Yeah. Uh, Twelve. Well, <laughs> Stephen Graham Jones, thanks for being here with us. Thank you for having me. It's bright and early. It is. Yeah, but you have something yeah. special going on today at Barnes and Noble, right? I do. Seven thirty. I'm signing. Nice. You're designing and reading and talk. This book. This right? book, Growing Up Dead in Texas. Yes, and I actually couldn't put it down. I kind of got caught off guard mm. when we came back. I was reading the back of it. It mm. looks like a really good book. Thank Just you. Just kind of tell us what, 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 what this is about. It's about a fire in Greenwood, Texas. Greenwood is 20 miles east of Midland. It's about going back and trying to figure out why that fire happened, what are, what's the fallout of that fire. And it's got a main character with my name in it. <laughs> that's, that's the best part. Right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what's been some of the feedback you got back about this book? People, um, it's weird when family and friends read it because they, they say, I don't remember it just like that. Uh, and um, wow. it, it, because they, they remember parts of it, they remember parts of names and stuff. But uh -huh. I think that, and people who have not, who don't know me, who don't know Greenwood, I think they read it as pure fiction. People who are from the area have a little bit of trouble distinguishing fact from fiction. Yeah, it's a, it's a little mixture of both. It is, yes. Uh, so it's a good yes. mixture of both. Okay, yes. that's good. That's something that's rare, really interesting for people mm. from West Texas. Yeah, yeah living yeah. in that time. It's, yeah. it, it's a lot of farming, a lot of farming stuff in there. I grew up farming. Um, and yeah, it's just about one stripping season, some fire, some cotton catches fire, and it's intentional. And, nice. and it, you know, cotton is what people live on. Absolutely, you know? yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm. Okay, so you're here from Colorado, sign your book tonight. Yes. But you are no stranger to West Texas, obviously. I'm not at all. I grew up, I grew up in Greenwood, grew up in Midland, lived in Big Springs, lived all over West Texas. I came here for my bachelor's at Texas Tech, got that in 94, came back in 97 after I got my, or 98 after I got my PhD. Mm -hmm. And man, I worked around manual, I did work at Sears, worked at the University Library, then I hired on at Texas Tech in 2000, and I was a professor until 2008. Wow, busy, busy, and writing books the whole time. The right? whole time. Yep. <laughs> very, very good. All right, so you're going to be at Barnes & Noble at the mall at 730, right? Yes, the big Barnes & Noble. Yeah. All right, yep. all right, so show up. Show up a little bit early, get yep. your book, yep. get it signed. Yep. This looks like a really good book, and I'm not just saying this because he's standing next to me. <laughs> it looks like a really good book. So if you, if it sounds like something you may like to read, mm -hmm. pick it up. We'll be right back. Thank you.